Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is about seven things you should know before letting go and moving forward. Now remember, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. Leave me a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated. Definition of forward. In the direction that one is facing or traveling towards the front. And it's principle for us of humanity to understand that there are things that we should know before letting go and moving forward with our life. And it's principle for us of humanity to understand what these things are that we should know before letting go and moving forward with our life. And I have arranged seven things that you should know before letting go and moving forward with your life. Listen, in life, we sometimes find ourselves in situations that have hit a brick wall. All of the possibilities of repairing are exhausted. You realize that the situation is at the point of no return. Only thing now is to move forward and create opportunity for what's promised for you. It's the only way. You have to create the space for what's destined for you. Point one, recognize when it's time to let go. Sometimes life needs to hit us over the head repeatedly until we realize a relationship has burned itself out. Either we have outgrown the other person or our offers to help aren't respected. Now let me let you know something. A situation like this will leave you drained Completely. You don't want this. Number three. Give yourself some time. Any situation, whether it be a job, a career, a relationship, habit, or an attachment, you invest energy that creates an emotional web. Letting go requires cutting these ties. Now listen, some people can do this cold turkey while others clip away at this a few at a time. But be okay with experiencing sadness, disappointment, anger, loss, grief, and fear of what comes next in your life. But let me let you know something. Take time to be present with each emotion as it arises. In order to suppress emotions, they need to be released so that you don't carry them into your future. Number three, face your fears of what's next. Leaving the familiar, no matter how miserable it is, means an unknown future awaits for you. If you are afraid of history repeating itself, now is the time to honestly assess who you are and what you believe in. 
reactive habits that get you into trouble and into ineffective patterns that follow you through life. You may have to find you some type of counseling or take a self-help webinar. Maybe even search online for remedies or resources, etc. Read empowering books, blogs, daily. Find a trusted friend to talk about your fears and allow them to help you process through the situation that you are dealing with. Act on what you are learning. You need to do things differently if you want a better result. Facing fear is simply part of letting go and moving forward. Number four, you aren't your history unless you choose to drag it along with you. You aren't what happened in your past nor what is going on today as a result of your past choices or actions. You are the observer, witness, wise person in this moment who can learn, adjust, and improve themselves. But if you insist on framing today from the perspective of your past, you block your new possibilities just having that mind frame. You're sure to attract new circumstances that repeat your history. But listen, in letting go and moving forward, write out a vision of the best you that you can perceive at this time in your life. Then commit to behaving and making choices as that person instead of who you have been in your past. Number five, learn the lesson. What went wrong in your life? Why are you in a situation that requires letting go and moving forward? Is there a pattern of behavior that follows you? Are you reacting to a childhood that is long since gone? These are things you need to know. Are you trying to change everything around you to fit a perceived perfect life? Now listen. Blaming an undesirable situation on others doesn't offer any solution. The only person, the only life that you have control over is yours. Every situation offers a lesson. The sooner you recognize what the lesson is, the sooner you can extricate yourself and move on from the situation number six failure is a natural life process that enlightens future successes everyone makes mistakes inventors fail more than they succeed but yet each failure, they refine their thinking and improve their process. When we know what doesn't work, we can adjust in a different direction. Number seven, holding on to where you are leaves no room for new to come into your life. There is a universal law of vacuum. Nature does not allow a vacuum and empty space. 
if you want something new, you need to make space for it by removing what's holding up that space. Holding on to anything that's undesirable. There is no room for what's desirable. And holding on to where you are now, while you simultaneously try to move forward, will subsequently keep you stuck right here in that spot where you are. I'm going to do a recap. Number one, recognize when it's time to let go. Number two, give yourself some time. Number three, face your fear of what's next. Number four, you aren't your history. Number five, learn the lesson. Number six, failure is a natural life process that enlightens future successes. Number seven, holding on to where you are leaves no room for new to come into your life. It's principle for us of humanity to understand that when we are at the point of letting things go out of our life that serves us no purpose no longer, we must know the proper way on letting go and moving forward. And we must understand that we have to recognize when it's time to let go and also give ourselves time to adjust to this new way of living. And also, we must face our fears of what's next and not be afraid. And always remember that you are not your history. And make sure that you learn the lesson in this situation so that you can move forward productively and never look at failure in a way that you don't learn your lesson from your failure because this process will lead you to your success in your life. And holding on to where you are will not serve you any purpose. You must realize you have to let go of what you are holding on to so that you can make that room for what's in your future. Apply these seven suggestions to your mindset so that you will know how to let go productively when things have hit a brick road, brick wall and you no longer can use what's in your life. Let it go and move forward correctly. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. Leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response is highly appreciated.